Hi, my name is Hallie Dalbo. I'm the Youth Programming Coordinator here at Midpoint Library System. And today I'm going to walk you through accessing our online databases as well as our e-library. So to start off, we're here at our homepage. And we're going to go up to the e-resources tab and click on Research Databases. This brings you to the databases that we've pulled out into different categories, but also you can browse by database title. We're going to go ahead and click on Homework Help here in the middle. And this brings up all the ones that we've pulled out to help anybody from preschool all the way up through high school and beyond. Um, there are many. You can find whichever one you want. We're just going to click on this one. Sometimes you're prompted to enter your library card number, and sometimes since you're on the library website, it will just let you go through. So you can type in here and search for panels. After you search for whatever topic you're looking for, it will pull up all kinds of articles, it'll tell you what it is. There are videos here as well. And then you can click on it, it'll give you the full text of the article, and you can go from there. Let's go ahead and go back to our website. Like I said, these are just the ones that we've personally pulled out. There are so many helpful and useful ones that you can find too. So I encourage you to look through all of our databases and not just the homework help ones. Um, let's go back up to e-resources and this time we will be clicking on the e-library tab. We recently changed our e-library. We used to have three different platforms and now we only have two. The first one that we are going to look into is Ohio Digital Library. So I'm gonna click on the link here. And in case you don't already have a library card, they started this where you can get a library card, but we're gonna exit out of that because we already have a library card. We just need to sign in. First, you will select your library and you start typing in mid. It'll bring up midpoint library system. The card number. And the pen on your card number. And you click sign in. We're going to tell it not to say password. And then you are in Ohio Digital Library's homepage. They have an app. It is called Libby. They advertise it a lot. Um, it is a read app. So if you're on a device, you can download the app. I would. Um, but since we're on a desktop, we'll just keep using what we have. So you can search by subjects, and it will pull up all kinds of subjects for you. You can limit it by format. So you can strictly look at ebooks or strictly audiobooks. They do have magazines at Ohio Digital Library and videos. Not well, let's go ahead and search for ebooks. If we filter it by ebooks, you still get all of these categories. Break it down by nonfiction as well. But let's go ahead and go up to collections. If you hit the arrow next to collections, it pulls out all kinds of different things. And um, there's a special kids tab, there's a special teens tab. Let's go ahead and click on teens. And Ohio Digital Library always tells you if it's available or not. So up at the top of each page, you'll see if it says available. Um, if it's not available, which all of these are showing as available, I think it says waitlist. Yes. So if it's not um, readily available, it will say waitlist and it will. Um, We'll just click on this one here. 
So when you click on a book, it'll tell you how many copies are available. And then the question mark next to it gives you a little bit more detail. Um, if you place a hold, you can put in the email address so it'll tell you when this is available. You have place hold. And it'll tell you your hold position. Um, and then you can go on to over here on your account and click on holds. And I'll tell you here where you are. Um, I know on the app, it'll give you an approximate time for how long you'll have to wait. Um, and then you can also suspend your hold. So if you know that you'll be coming up to get this book, you can suspend it for various amounts of time. And that way you can, if you don't have time to read it right now, or if you're already in the middle of many books, you can suspend it and it'll still, you'll be the next in line after that. It's really helpful. Um, there we go back here. Let's find a book that's for me. Let's do this one. So, two of two copies are available. You click borrow. It'll ask you how long you want to borrow it for. You can change it to 7, 14, or 21 days. It automatically defaults to 21. And you click borrow. And it gives you a few different options on how to read it. You can read it with a Kindle if you're on a Kindle. Or you can read it in your browser, or you can download it. I always default to read in browser. And then you can hit your arrow keys, and that's how you turn your pages. It will keep your spot as you read, but in case, for some reason, you, let's say you've already had this book in person, and you're already on chapter 10, you can click on chapter 10, And it'll open it up right up to that. Let's go back to Ohio Digital Library and go back to your account. So loans is what you currently have. Holds is what you want and what you are on hold for. Wish list, will, you can save it to your wish list. Um, we already have this one, so let's go back. Let's say you wanted to read this one. And right here comes add to wish list, where you can add to your history as well. So it does keep what you've checked out. It's really helpful there. Um, and if you don't finish the book when you have it and you place it um, either on hold again or you can borrow it again, typically it picks up right where you left off, which is really nice so you don't have to remember where you were. Um, they have a wide array of titles available. They get updated all the time, so if something that you find isn't coming up, keep checking back. So that is Ohio Digital Library. Now we're going to look at Hoopla. So we're going to click on the hoopladigital.com link. Hoopla is a little bit different. You do need an email address to sign in before you even put your library card in. So we're going to get started today. Type in your email address. Come up with a password. Oh, it did. Okay, perfect. 
Then you'll have to select your library. If midpoint doesn't come up, you can search for midpoint here. Click on midpoint, hit next, and now insert your library card number. And hit sign me up. There's a little bit of information about Google. Um, if you need any help, that is the library's phone number listed here. And we will certainly be happy to assist you. So we're going to hit done. And Hoopla is a little bit different now. So we're going to go to my Hoopla at first. Since we just signed up, nothing is on our account. Down here it says currently borrowed. And it says you have 15 instant borrows remaining this month and you have 15 flex borrows remaining this month. So in the past, Hoopla was everything was instant. You could always get the material. They recently changed and the instant borrows are what is still available all the time. The flex borrows are what you will have to put on hold. Um, you will see these two symbols, either the lightning or the arrows, and those will tell you which is which. So they were recommended for me. Very nice of them since we just met um, with the flash. So instantly available all the time. If we go to their home page, maybe. Let's go to browse. Switching gears. Let's look at ebooks again. So here we go. First off, wait list. The arrows will tell you it's a flex borrow, and then this one is not available, so it will say wait list. Um, Harry Potter has a wait list. Let's go ahead and search by some more filters. You can even filter it out even more um, by flex or instant here. So let's go ahead and we'll put this one on hold. Click on the title, place it on hold. Are you sure? Yes. And it tells you you're number four in line. Now let's go back to ebooks here. Let's just do this one. You'll hit borrow. It'll tell you you can borrow for 21 days. Um, it has a kids mode that it wants to tell you about. We'll just click on that. We're going to click read. And same as with Ohio Digital Library, the arrows on your keyboard will flip you through, or you can click the arrows over here. It has a zoom picture. You can turn off, I believe, up here. Yes. Um, but otherwise, you'll we'll just flip through it and be in meeting. I'm going to close out of this for now. We're going to go back up here to my Hoopla. So, since we have something checked out, it shows you right here. Um, they do go through each month. So every time you borrow something through the month, your number will go down, but at the beginning of the next new month, you get 15 for each flex and instant. Um, let's go back up to volts. You can see what you're waiting on. Still tells you what number you're waiting in line. You can have a total of 10 volts. So it does give you that information too. And like um, Ohio Digital Library, you can favorite things and you can keep it um, readily available for you to quickly access and it will show you your history as well. Hoopla does have, and you'll see audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, and television. So there's a wide variety here as well. And 
glow out of that. That is how you access the databases that we have in our website and also our um, digital platforms.